What's up guys, Dar Sizzle here, and in today's video, we go fishing out of Charleston, South Carolina, and we catch gigantic sheep's heads, also known as convicts. Get ready for an awesome sheep's head catch clean cook. Oh. I figured I'm always gonna have me a payment the rest of my life. That's what we all say. How are you, how, what do we call you, Captain Mark or Captain Deshan? Marky Mark. 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 Marky Captain Mark? Mark. I can do that. What's, what's the name of your charter service? VIP Adventures. VIP Adventures. You got it. Picking up the boat. It says we're going to catch a lot of fish today. That's the plan. This old, That's the plan. This old school South Carolina fishing. That's, it. That's what I was promised. We're out here with Captain Mark, and you can see what we're doing right now. I've never done this before. I am learning as we go. We got a net. We got this little cool tool, breaking off these barnacles and oysters, and we're dumping them into a bucket. And this is our chum to catch giant sheep's head. Some new techniques that I'm learning and I've never done before. First time for everything. Yes. Always learn when you go out fishing. I don't care how many, how long you've been fishing for. And they get big, over 10 pounds, and they jump like tarpon. And it's an exotic catch down in Florida. I'll have to show you a picture. Yeah, this is fine right here. All right, so our final little fishing spot. We got the chum. We got the bait. You can see Captain putting those mollusks in the water that we scraped off the dock over there with the pylons. And yes, sir. We're doing it to it. Let's doing do it to it. it, he says. All right, guys. So you can see we got the mollusk here. And the way we broke it off, it keeps it together. You can see my jig head. And I'm just going to not, just kind of, and then just kind of feel around and go nice and slow. Don't want to break the pad or anything. Keep it together, just like that. And then just nice and slow into the water. So I'm just going to drop it right here by the side of the boat, just like so, and let it go right to the bottom. And once it feel bottom, I just lock up the, uh, the bail, and then I wait for the bite, and it's just gonna feel heavy. It's really difficult to feel the bite with these guys, just like I talk about in Florida too when I catch sheep's head. So I'm gonna close the bail, and now we just wait for the bite. And do I want my rod like fairly low like this? Okay. It's chicken nice nice dragged to the rocks. That's a nice one. Woo! Mighty Hooked dark. up. Oh, nice one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the size oh, of this nice. fish. <laughs> what? Heck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's a record already. That's a beautiful fish. Right there. That is a beautiful fish. <laughs> Did you see that? That's about that was sick. All right, just after losing about 12 different fish, I just landed a nice, nice one. That's like an average fish around here. Mm, that's average. Oh, sorry. He's about the same as you. He's about your PB. Look how pretty he is. He's probably. Oh my gosh. I'm going to hold him. Yeah, yeah. we got to get quick. Heck yeah, I'm going to hold him. Oh, beautiful. Can I just she got underneath, it. underneath his mouth, underneath here, and underneath the tail. Okay. Why don't you put it down? Look, she's in. Oh, yeah. I guess put him down. I'll grab him. Okay. Sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> she's, this, is, this is her. She's an expert at this. Don't worry. Uh -huh. Look at that fish. Yeah. I, that is definitely a record there. It's probably solid over 20 inch fish right there. Oh, yeah. Beautiful sheep's head. He put up a heck of a fight. As soon as I dropped that bait down, he was on. Um, and now I just got to get the hang of this bite and limb it out today. And the bite's only going to get better from here on out. So Captain Mark yeah. putting us on the fish right away. And I'm going to link his information down below for y'all if you want to come out here and do this here. Do this in beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. We're going to catch a ton of these. We're going to catch a ton. Let's go. <laughs> Brian's going to catch some too. <laughs> Heck yeah. Let's get him in the cooler. Oh, our dark is on. That was quick. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a nice <laughs> Yeah. No, I landed his butt quick. Oh, Woo! You go, Did beautiful, you see that? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. In the water and out of the water in less than 20 seconds. It was like instant bite. <laughs> Let me open the bail. Yeah, buddy. Woo. Okay, okay. That's a nice fish. 
Oh my lord. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's my personal best right that's there. Right Captain now. Mark that's Shane. Put a me on me. Heck yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh lord. Yeah, buddy. Look at that fish. <laughs> that's the biggest sheep's head I've ever freaking seen. Ever caught. Beautiful. And Captain Mark of VIP Adventures putting us on a fish. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice That's door. a stud. That's a nice Ooh, look at that fish. Look how fat he is. All right. Yeah, I'll pick him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Look at that. <laughs> fish number three in the boat. Look at that gorgeous chief's head. I mean, freaking slaying it out here, guys. But while I'm showing you this beautiful fish, just want to tell you about the ongoing sales I have going on on my website right now. Don't forget about bracelets, fish like an anchor bracelets, which you can't see right now. Um, three, four, two buy two get one three that code is going to be down below as well as the beautiful sterling silver necklaces i'm wearing too i've got a code 10 percent well just go to the website and get 10 percent off any sterling silver necklace of your choice and look at that fish number three well fish number three in the boat for me and nobody has caught a fish yet but captain mark is putting me on the fish today <laughs> look how beautiful they're just getting bigger bigger and bigger and the bite is only getting on fire more and more Look at them. Oh, it's so awesome. All right, I need to stop looking at them because I want to go catch more. <laughs> Let's get them in the cooler. Oh my goodness, fish after fish now. That's a good one, oh. oh, pulled again. I have the rod up. Long road to recovery. Oh, oh hooked up. I'm on finally. Get him, get him. Nice, nice. He's right here, he's right here. Woohoo! Nice. There we go. Good job, Brian. Hooked up. That's a good fish. Nice. All right. Hooked with a nice fish. Whoop, whoop. Nice, Brian. It took me all. Darcy caught three, I caught one so far. Or four or five, whatever she did. <laughs> Going under your line a little bit. There you go. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. Oh, baby. Oh. She saw that net. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Look at this fish. Oh, my goodness. Scream. baby. Scream. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wow. This is a fight, the longest fight yet. Oh. Stay hooked, stay hooked, stay hooked, stay hooked. Oh. Woohoo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, buddy, we are just crushing. <laughs> nice. nice, that fish fought hard yeah. for its size. That was crazy. Kept diving. That was a nice fight, though. They fight good. Another stud. You're in. Your, your, your size limit over here now. Oh, look at that hook set. He wasn't going anywhere. I think he wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> Woo! I lost a big one just before I hooked this fish. While I was pre-fighting it, bringing it into the boat, hook popped. But they're really difficult. Like I tell you, they're sneaky fish. Sorry about the water on the lens. Let's get them up. All right, Captain. Here we go. So we're starting to get Another some. one about tied her begging. Yeah. It's about a tie. That cool is looking good. Oh, yeah. Look at that color. tie. Woo! Giant sheeps. Oh. Another monster. Stacking up. Look here, when it takes when it takes 12 fish to fill a yeah. 54 <laughs> quart cooler, yeah. that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Pretty good. I agree. <laughs> Let's get some more. Unbelievable. <laughs> every day. Oh, oh she's on. She's right away. She's got the giant. Oh, he's keeping his head down. God, oh giant. my god, do I swap the drag? That's Whoa, giant. dude! That's a giant. Song. Whoa, dude! Stay hooked! Stay hooked! Stay hooked! Stay hooked! Stay hooked! Come on! That might be a big drum. Oh my goodness! That feels different, but I don't know what it is. That's why it's fishing straight on the boat now. Oh! Oh, that's a big, 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 big
Yes, that's the biggest one. That's right nice. That <laughs> juicy fish. Yeah. Yes. Woo. Yes. The bite's only getting on Good. faster and faster. Look Jesus how fat this fish is. See my language, everybody. Woo. Look how thick that fish is. He's oh, real he fat. Look thick. how fat. Those yeah, are gonna be on. monster fillets, but whoa. That was a fight. It felt like a different fish too. He just kept his head down. It was crazy. Just look at the hook set. Perfect. Just, just, this guy's a pressing. That's a nice fish. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Nice, nice, nice. VIP Adventures putting us on the big ends. Big girls. Are these male and females that are spawning? Or? All females, that's what I thought. Females are always the bigger fish. The bigger, woo! The bigger fish. Cut tides coming in, it's starting to rip. And as soon as I put the bait down, it was instant fish on. And this is just a fat, fat fish. One heck of a fight. Scream drag. Took the most line yet out of all the fish. But just look how pretty they are. So gorgeous. Never get to find a fish like this big in Florida, at least not for me yet. So it's so beautiful to come out here and learn different tactics and learn how to fish different things and uh, just catch a ton of giants. I'm addicted. Let's go get some more. How many have fish have you caught now? Three? Who? Me or you? You. I think two. I lost track. There he is. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, he's staying down. I can't get his head up. Ooh. Jeez, they fight. Ouch. Come on. Come on. Come on. That could be the 10. Come on. Work with me. That could be the 10. What are we looking for? That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. <laughs> Stud again. Woo. Huge. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is insane. It's just fish after quality fish. It's no joke. Like I said, Captain Mark DeShanes of VIP Adventures will put you on fish, and I'm going to link his info down below. Woo. You guys can come do this too. Another giant. Another giant. Just they're all huge spawning females. All right, we got our limit of beautiful, gigantic sheep's head. And it's time to fillet them up for you guys. I'm so excited to catch these giant things. We had a blast and hopefully I can't wait to do it again and go up there to Charleston because I know there's so much epic fishing and you guys, all you guys who love it, live in that area are going to be like, you need to come back to come do black drum and redfish and this and that. There's so many amazing fish that we're missing out on. But so to not ruin and dull your knife, you want to go in between their rib cage bones, just like I did that. You see that there? And that way you can make nice and easy cuts. And that way you're also not going to dull your knife at a fast rate. Now you can also feel right in here, it's all soft. You can feel exactly where that head meat ends. So you just figure that out and then you just take your knife and work it up that way too. And that way you get as much head meat as you possibly can and save as much of it as you, and, and harvest as much of it as you can. Sorry, I sound a little off today. But a lot of people like to use electric knives on these guys and you know what, it's not, I, you can do that, and, but if you don't have one, you don't need one. So I'm gonna show you right now that you don't need an electric knife to fillet one of these fish. Now they've got like a really big opening here. And I don't know if you can see this. Actually, there you go. You can see like this line that goes right where their dorsal fin lays down. You can just lay your knife right in there. It already has half the work done for you. There's literally a ridge where your knife slides right in there on that opening. So that's pretty cool. So just follow that down. Get them on the edge here. Just work your knife, keep working, keep working. And they're so tough and full of scales that you really need a sharp knife. So don't forget about my code DARSIZZLE15 to save 15% off these awesome knives plus free shipping on Smith's Products website. And that's Smith's Consumer Products. And I'll link that information down below for y'all. Highly recommend, been using them for well over a year now and they're great. All right, so now just following those rib cage bones or the bones of the fish and I can really feel it with my knife and it's bendable and flexible and that's what I like, but you know, your preference is your preference. This is their seven inch blade, which is a perfect all around blade for all types of fish. And they also have a nine inch blade and this one is saltwater coated. So that way 
it's not going to corrode in the salt conditions. All right, and then we come up to the head here, bunch of pin bones. We're gonna break those, no big deal. And then go around that rib cage. Now, with an electric knife, you know, you're gonna be cutting off the rib cage, you're gonna be cutting off a bunch of stuff, and that's fine. It's just gonna give you a little more extra work. And you know me, I really like to spend my time and make sure I get every juicy ounce of meat off this beautiful fish while keeping the rib cage intact. And that way, uh, we don't open up the innards. And I turned the fish this way, that's kind of awkward, but that way you guys can see a little better right in there. And you can see I just broke those pin bones and then we're just sliding right down his rib cage. Just like that. And then straight down the other side. And there we go, look at this freaking huge, huge sheep's head filet. That's what I'm talking about. Woo, look at that beauty. And you can see what I talked about right there. We kept that intact. I followed those bones right down and we got every beautiful ounce of meat off that fish. All right, now switching to my nine inch blade, which the seven inch could probably be perfect, but I don't want to miss any meat here. And you can see how gorgeous that filet looks. They're so good. They eat all those crustaceans. And like you said, you know, like you saw, we were using barnacles for bait and <laughs> these fish are just crazy. They eat all the good stuff that's on the pilings and the structure and on the reef and everything that a lot of fish can't get to. And when Captain Mark said we were using barnacles for bait, he's like, nothing else will eat this except the sheep's head. So it was a guaranteed sheep's head every time we got a bite. And it's a lot of practice, a lot of skill set, and you gotta really figure out that bite. Pin bones right here, we'll just knock those out. This is much bigger than the sheep's head I'm used to catching. So this is like a mutton snapper fillet to me. And you guys know me, I love my mutton snapper. Pop that right out. And there is a little bit of a bloodline right there. You can remove that. I would, I would say it's not the end of the world if you don't remove it, but you can see right here, I could just go ahead and work a little bit of it out, but it's not the end of the world. It's not too fishy. I would just eat around that and not eat that bloodline, obviously. But there you go. There is that beautiful sheep's head filet. Check that out. Can't wait for putting to cook this up for us in the house. Sorry, got a mosquito on my leg there. But I'm gonna finish up the other side of this fish and then I'm gonna meet you guys in the kitchen and also finish my limit of sheep's head and then, guys, and then meet you guys in the kitchen for the cooking with pudding portion of this video. Oh my gosh. <gasps> hey buddy. Give me, give me a carrot. What's up guys and welcome to the uh, cooking with pudding normal section would be right here. Mm -hmm. All right, but I have to apologize in advance. We had to cut it a little bit short because, um, you know, it was the holidays and Darcy just got all the calendars in. And so we have to send them all out so you guys get them. Yes. You know, we just got back from Georgia with Darcy's sister and there's been some great developments and actually Darcy's running right back up there. Yes. So, and we've been eating fish like crazy. So again, I apologize, but it's an abridged version of the cooking. Yeah. First, you guys always ask, and we're gonna start adding in more, is how the fish tastes. Like, what's it look like? And what do you compare it to? and it's very white. It's flaky. Uh, we, I think last time we called it like a firm mutton snapper. Exactly. At that time, Darcy. Yeah, it's really good. And like, you, you know, like we've talked about, they eat those little mollusks and barnacles and stuff, and that makes their meat taste really delicious. Right, like any fish that eats shrimp and mollusks Stations. and lobsters and stuff like that, it's gonna be good, like a hogfish or and stuff, all this kind of stuff. And snappers eat a lot of shrimp and things like that too, so they're really good. And sheep's head, sometimes you post and people are like, is that even good? It's delicious. Okay, it's one of the best. Most people think it's one of the best fish in the sea. Yep. And I noticed a freshwater sheep said, that's not this. Yep. I understand that one tastes like crap. Yeah. Um, all right, so cooking it. You can cook it pretty much like any snapper, okay? And very easy. You can just put it in a pan with some butter and some spices. Put some uh, grated Parmesan on there when you're lemon. done. Yeah, Darcy likes lemon more and, and it's gonna be fine. And you can cook any fish like that, all set. Another great way which we started doing this month is same thing, you put it in that pan. Then you take the fish out of the pan, leave all the drippings in there, you know, the butter or the oil, whatever you cooked it in, and then you add some lemon and some cream, maybe sugar to taste, and maybe, you know, salt and pepper, whatever you want, and you use that sauce and you put it on the fish. Super easy, one pan, delicious. Yep. All right, and you can add as much lemon or sugar or whatever to make it the taste. Uh, so that's really the gist of it, and I apologize for the abbreviated version, but it's go ahead. It's all about our other video. Your other video. We just did a sheep's head video. We, yeah, we just did a sheep's head video. So again, you know, that's no reason I don't want to get all crazy about cooking this time. Uh, it was earlier in the month, so you can check it out. And of course, we'll put a link. Yes. Wherever we put a link, so, so they you go. know. That's what I meant. <laughs> in the description. That's what you meant. And 
So Darcy is running to Atlanta in a couple days to go see Megan. Go real quick with Megan. Yeah, um, I'm gonna be posting an update so you guys can take on a look Instagram. at that on social media. Yeah, on social media and it'll be shared around. But Megan just qualified for rehab, which is amazing. The whole hard part about the rehab is the fact that no family, including her husband, cannot see Megan during rehab. And this is mainly due to COVID. And so I'm gonna go see her for the last time now that she's awake before she heads off to rehab and say goodbye and just, you know, say, tell her to stay strong and heal fast. And the, it depends on how long she'll be at rehab because it's just a matter of how fast Megan heals and when she's ready to go home. So who knows yeah, the longer, how long that will be. The longer the better, because the more she's there, the more she's improving, I guess. Yes. And they'll kick her out when she stops improving. Yes, and she's already made huge improvements in the last Incredible week. Incredible, guys. And we had a Thanksgiving miracle. But again, details of that will be posted on social media. So please go follow me if you don't and take a look for that information. Yeah, but in short, she's saying words, she's reading, she's picking up pens, she's riding a tricycle around the hospital. Yes, wait, stay tuned for the update, guys. We can't keep going on and on, but yes. All right, guys. All right, guys. Until next time. Thank you so much for watching. Next video is a Wahoo video. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. And until next time, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.